All right, so we've you know we've got a note taking app. It's persistent. Um, we can remove items. We've refactored it so that we've got this display list code in one place. We call it from these three places, and that's nice. So if we decide we wanted to show things you know slightly differently or in a different way, we could quickly change um, this code and and we wouldn't have to change all the different places that need to display a list. So that's really, really nice. Um, but I do want to talk about procedures a little more. In fact, talk about making them more general. Okay. Um, you know, a lot about programming and computer science as you get into it, software engineering, is you don't want to rewrite code over and over. You want to reuse code um, because programs get really big really, really fast. So simplifying and having very reusable code is very important. Now the nice, you know, this procedure is a good one, but it really only works for this app. It's specific to exactly this note list, right? Two things. One, it goes through the variable note list and it puts things in a particular label. Okay? Now, think about it. There's a lot of apps and maybe even in this this you know, note-taking app, you might have other lists like user lists or whatnot that you need to display. There's a lot of times when you need to display lists. So it would be nice if there was a, a procedure that was reusable across different uses or even different, different apps that you could just grab and use um, in, in whenever you want it. Okay? This one's not quite there because it's too specific. So I'm going to change it and make it um, you know, not not quite so specific to this note list. Um, the way I'm going to do it is I'm actually going to create a new procedure and that procedure is going to be a procedure with result so it's going to return some information and I'm going to call this procedure um, instead of display list it's going to be called generate um, display string or display text. Okay. And what this is, you know, let me let me kind of hide this screen uh, initialize so we get some more room. And what this procedure is going to do is it's just going to build a text string that we could stick in any label. I'm um, sorry, let me let me make some room here. So instead of what this procedure does is goes through the list and sticks each item into the label, this is just going to build a text string which has all the information and you can stick it in any label you want. Okay, the other way we're going to generalize it is we're going to take an argument, a parameter, so you could send any list to it and it will do its job. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is come over here and create what's called a name. Okay, this is the, it's a parameter name is what it is. So I'm going to grab one of these guys and I'm going to call this my list. Okay, and what that means is when I call this procedure, I'm going to have to send it a list. Okay, I'm also going to define a variable, and I'm just going to call this variable display text. Okay, and I'm going to start it off with the empty text. Okay, so I've got this variable, it's empty text, and what I'm going to do is, is basically build this variable up with all the items of the list in it. It's going to look something like this, but not, not quite. Um, so first thing I'm going to do inside the procedure is I'm going to set display text to the empty text, because every time I call this I want to start with a blank slate. Okay, then I'm going to go grab a for each block, oops, sorry, in control, and I'm going to name this guy, um, I think I've already got an item one, so maybe I can just name it item, yeah, good. Okay, and in fact, inside this list, I'm not going to put a specific list, note list, I'm going to put whatever list was sent to this procedure. 
Okay, so I'll go back to my blocks and I'm going to grab the reference to this kind of generic list that um, is going to be sent to me. Okay, and then kind of what I want to do is almost the same as I'm doing up here, except I want to do it to this variable. So I need a set display text. And um, I'm actually going to copy this. It's going to have to be changed a little bit, but. Um, so what I want to do though is, is, so here's the order I had. Obviously I got to change item one to be just item, right? So I'm going to grab just item here. And I want my backslash ins. And then I'm not building notes list label, I'm just building display text. So I want this one variable to keep growing as the for loop goes through. Okay, so each time display text is going to be the new item, a couple inline characters, and then whatever was there already. So as we loop through, it's just going to keep growing with new items. So let me get rid of these guys. Okay, and of course, oh, did I get rid of my list? Let me go grab my list reference again. I thought I stuck it in, in here. Okay, so a list will get sent to me. I'll start my display text out as blank, and then I'll loop through that list and basically build this display text, okay, which is going to look, you know, it'll be text, which is all that stuff, but it'll be in this kind of hidden variable. Okay, and what I want to return, oh, I see what I did wrong. So as I'm processing here, I want to go through my whole list. But what I want to return, when I'm done, right, when I finish this whole procedure, what I want to return to the caller is this display text variable. Okay, so I'm going to say generate a display text. Here's a list. It'll go through and essentially convert the list into a text. Okay, take a variable list and and build something that looks like that and then return it back to the caller. Okay, so notice I'm doing almost the same thing as here except I'm not doing it to a particular label and I'm not doing it to a particular list. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hide this guy. And now we need to replace our calls and you know, once again, we're we're refactoring here. Um, so what we're hoping is that um, the app will still work exactly the same, okay? But we just want to make it so we now have a procedure which is a generic um, way to convert a list into text, and it can be take any list and display it anywhere, okay? So I've got these three places where I call display list. Let me open up the third one. So I'm going to get rid of this guy. And it's a little trickier on how I call it because I need to send an argument and get back some data. Okay. And in fact, what I want to do, and I'll go to my definitions, is I want to call um, the function called generate display text. And I want to send it my note list. Okay, this this app only has one list. You know, an app with many lists. I could call this with various kinds of lists. But this, I'm always going to send note list here. And what I want to do is whatever I get back from this nice procedure, I want to stick into my label. So I'm going to grab note list label. So instead of calling display list, I call generate display text. It returns some text to me and I stick it in my label. So actually this whole block here is really what we're going to now do to display a list. So in the three places I can replace them and there's the third one. Okay, so now Generate display text, generate display text, generate display text. In each case, I put them in the same label. Okay. Um, if I run this thing, 
let's just do it for item four. Looks like it's working fine. Yeah, it seems to be working, working fine. If I remove something, that worked too. So I think I refactored. I left my app working in the same way. Um, the big difference now is instead of having this kind of procedure tied to a specific list and label, now I've got a procedure that would work with any list. You know, I always use it with note list in this example, and it would work with any label. You know, I could I could set what I get back to any label. Um, in this case, I set it to the to the same label. So you got to kind of think of this. Wow, that's a lot of work, Dave. But think about a big project. You know, an app with lots of source code, and there's a lot of places where you need to display a list, and you've got say tens or even hundreds of lists. Um, then you could use this same procedure um, for each of those items. Um, the other idea is kind of cross-application. So many apps could use a nice, useful procedure like this. I mean, you would love to see this as a block in App Inventor, right? And, uh, you know, maybe someday App Inventor will provide the ability to create such reusable blocks.